Bro, when did you turn up? Oh. oh, okay. Um, what are you doing?
I'm just going back now, knocking this all back to bare metal and going to go through with a knifing putty and get this whole panel prepped and ready for paint. So I've got that panel ready now. All we need to do is get some paint on it and then we can finish off putting the other panels in here. Get that sorted this weekend, I'll be a very, very happy camper. Do that. Wipe it. Okay. So I'm tack ragging this. Um, it's a vital step in the preparation for the paint. Um, don't even know what a tack rag is, but it's probably here behind the camera. The bro says, Oh, you got to tack rag that. So I'm tack ragging that. Is this what I'm, what I got this tack that? Tack, tack that. I'm, not, I'm just attacking that. Me. It's tack ragged. That's hard, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How much you want? Oh, I'll just go that bottom one, bro. You won't use all that. You'll have to flash off when you get out of it. Mean, it's, uh, it's mixed up in paint. Here we go. This here is epoxy primer. Mm -hmm. It is pre-tinted, that's how I ordered it. And then, now, that's quite a bit of pain, eh? I'll go with that. Oh, it's got a tearing in there, watch your eyes. And I'll go up to the next one. That's a shit ton of pain. I just go like that, eh? Mm. Tipping it everywhere. My car painter, eh? Car four. Enough for Mellow Puff. Oh, you got to do the inside anyway, eh? Hey? Right? You got to do the inside anyway. That'll be pretty much the perfect amount of paint. I'll be surprised if your compressor keeps up. Hey? Right? I'll be surprised if your compressor keeps up. What sort of uh, respiratory PPE are you wearing today, bro? Uh, open atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The atmosphere of PPE. <laughs> um, 
it's um, pretty essential when working with these volatile paints. Grade 5A volatile organic compound filter. Wow, it's um, I mean, pretty good, eh? So far, just gonna play a little bit more and make it run because it looks really good. So I'll put some more paint on it and make it run. So I just spotted something. I just took the cover off. I was like, oh yeah, this is all gonna be easy. We'll just get in there and we'll just do the framework, and then. I found that big bit of angle poking out past the extent of the framework. So before I do anything else I'm going to have to cut that off next. That is a big pain in the butt. That part was nice and easy, so once again, got to get in and prep all this side now. Okay guys, so I've been working absolutely all day to get the bus to this stage here. So I've got all the windows out, I've got everything prepped, ready to panel it up. So I'm about to go and hit the CNC, cut some panels and get them in. CNC's a little tiny bit dull, just push that paint edge, but um, just use the back of a blade, go along and give it a quick scrape, and everything's happy again. Got these dent pullers from Super Cheap. I'll tell you what.
you what, these things are absolutely magical for handling panel like this. Before it was a pain in the ass, but now it's actually easy. So that's where I'm up to. I've uh, just installed that um, panel up there, and so now I'm going to put this one in. Uh, seeing how I do this, pretty simple process. I'm using Bostic 7003 for those that want to know what adhesive I'm using. I had a lot of questions on my last video. Um, so it's Bostic 7003. to actually get the side of the bus done. It's been taking so long to get to this point with this side. It's ridiculous. And that's it, you just lay it up like that. And you get your panel, hopefully your measurements are right. Sit it there. And away you go. Give it a little wiggle. Get it sitting down. that people how I do my panel it's that easy it's not hard at all 